What's up, guys? Uh, I just want to show you a quick, another quick video um, on how you figure out what board you need when uh, you know you don't have a convenient HDMI connection or uh, regular connection. I've seen uh, hundreds of videos where where they you know they have it all changed and hooked up but they don't they don't tell you exactly you know where did they find that board or how they get it so this is the original uh back box to the at games legends pinball uh as you can see i'm i'm just testing it out and playing uh football with the, the jets lose this game by the way as they lose every game but screw them um so, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I, I took all my app game stuff out, or I want to. Um, I run strictly off the PC on my pinball table, but my backlash DMD is this actual screen. Okay, so to run my DMD, I have to power up the, entire, the PCB. I still have the PCB for the ALP in there. I have the Vibs board, I have the Vibs switch, I have the power switch here. So I'm like doing all that just to just to use the DMD. I even have to hit the button like every time. You know what I mean? It's annoying where I wanted a, I wanted a board where I could just plug it in like a regular any other screen and I don't have to keep you know uh powering up the uh, at games pinball PCB and stuff, which I'm taking out. I'm gonna take the PCB out, all the power supply, all that stuff. I already have all the controls out. Uh, I have my own my own wiring and stuff, my own uh, USB encoders in there. So that's all that's all taken out. Plus, I have uh, I have like another project that I want to do with the, with the PCB and all the stuff, all that stuff. But uh, in order to get it, uh, get these boards, you know, obviously it's not easy. They don't make it easy to find. Um, you have, you need the number off your screen, uh, which would be, you, you take, you would need to take the screen out of the back, but this, I didn't, obviously I didn't take the screen, the, this is a part and stuff, but, uh, I just was able, uh, on my deluxe box box, I could see the back of the screen so I could see the, the numbers that you need. And... Here's what you gotta do, see? So, in order to, to find out what you need, and you can go right on Amazon after you do this if you want, or you can order from the, uh, the website, but you go onto the back of the screen and you look and you need, you know, you need the LCD model number. As you can see here, it's, uh, now this isn't, this is just an example. This isn't the one for, uh, for your at games pinball I, I i will show that to you though the exact one but i'm just showing you how to do it uh if you want to take a screenshot of this or or not um that's up to you but uh these are the steps to to do it you get the model number step one say it so they have it highlighted in red right there for you all right then uh you go to panellook.com so www panel look one word dot com and you type in uh that model number right in the search uh in the search area where it's see where it says products there you go all right and once that comes up you get all these are the specifications you're going to need all right so let me try and make this bigger for you so you want the screen size. So I, I literally took just took a piece, scrap piece of paper. Uh, screen size. I mean, you're, you're going to know the screen size. But uh, your pixel number, uh, you're going to know that too. So like for this, it's 15 and a half inches. It's 1920 by 1080 full high def uh, for the App Games uh, screen. But there's a lot of you guys out there who want... With uh, arcade one ups, uh, 
for me, uh, so I have that little counter cade. I'm, I'm ripping that apart. I got my board for that already. Um, instead of going through those websites and paying insane amounts of money to get a kit, uh, it's ridiculous. They charge you like $200, $300 for a kit for, uh, they give you this board and then they give you a $20 amplifier and a couple of wires and then they say uh you know so you, you get this too you get all the oh yeah fancy uh it's not worth two hundred dollars three hundred dollars you know websites i'm talking about but uh hey good for them right so um but you want to definitely write down the signal type okay uh it's gonna be edp it's probably gonna be two lanes uh but the connector is what you want you want to make sure it's 30 pins, not 40. Uh, I think I think the arcade one-ups use 30 pin too, but I'm not sure. Uh, at games, they use it's 30 pins. Um, but like I said, when you check, when you run your number uh, you're just on your screen, because depending on every wave or every uh, different year that they come out, they might change. So. And then for your backlight, you can you can write that down to the fifteen hundred fifteen thousand hours. I'm sorry, with the LED driver, but uh, that's not really as important. All right, and then uh, and then when when you actually check the controller board description, it's going to tell you what it work see what it'll work with. And we already know that because we just talked about it up above. But you need a 15, it needs to be 15 and a half inches. Now we're talking about now for the back blast, for the, for the ALP, the At Game Symbol. So you, it needs to be at least uh, 15 and a half inches, at least 1920 by 1080. The reason why I say that is because that... What it's showing you is that that con this controller can go up to a max of it just so happens to be the same. This controller can actually do a max uh, screen image of it might even be higher. It might be it might even be 19 inches or 20 inches, but uh, it's not just going to be the exact one. So you want to make sure that your specifications fit within uh, what you know, what that board is going to be compatible with. Um, most importantly is your model number usually is going to be listed in all these model numbers, okay? Packing list, you know, you get your you got your 30-pin signal cable and your, your EDP inverter board. That's, you know, that's usually, what, obviously, that's usually what it's going to come with. And it's going to come with uh, the controller, too, uh, but that's mostly, uh, that's telling you that because if you order, uh, hold on. So this is what panellook.com looks like. So uh, these are, as you can see, I was looking up boards for the, uh, for the At Games uh, backlash. Because it's the model number is it's a BOE uh, brand screen. Uh, it's 1920 by 1080, and it's 15 and a half, 15.6 inches. Uh, and so you can see that there's there's different ones. All right, and then you just go to Amazon, and let me just scroll back. Get out, get out of the photos for you. And this is the exact board uh, for the ALP. Uh, if you're looking for a controller board uh, to plug HDMI in uh, for your At Games, Legends, Pinball, Backlash, uh, this is the board that you need. So it's right on Amazon. Uh, the brand is LCD board, you know, uh, 
and so it's only 28 bucks see how I said screen size it's 17.3 because when you go on uh, panelook.com it tells you it, it tells you what it can go up to and that's why and it's just showing you what it comes with it comes with your wires that you need uh, you do need a power supply uh, 12 volt I use a 12 volt 5 amp power supply uh, you have to buy one if you don't have one um, that's for your sound it gives you instructions in case uh, you forget here <laughs> And then look here, see? There's your compatible, compatible will work with uh, screen. And then you go down here, 15.6 inch. There's your resolution. And <clears throat> these are your Games boards, the, the NV156 FHM. Those are the, those are the Games boards. And you just gotta find your, your, uh, your board. And that's it. And you order it. It got here within, a, I don't know, two days, I think. Two days, possibly three. It was it was quick because I literally, after I ordered this one, I ordered a, a what do you call it? I ordered a board for the my, my arcade one up, uh, Countercade, <clears throat> so I could put my Raspberry Pi in it. Um, now, when you get your board... Uh, I have to thank uh, Dave from Buy Stuff <laughs> for this one, but you can't just plug in uh, the cable that comes with uh, that comes with the box because At Games puts the cable in backwards <clears throat> or upside down or some kind of messed up thing that At Games does. I don't know why. Um, so you have to use. The cable they get they give you two it comes with two cables so you don't have to worry about it uh messing up or anything but uh, uh, you carefully just pull the tape back and you see this and this 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 uh entrance this literally just like slides in it doesn't it doesn't have a clip it doesn't have you know anything like that it doesn't it just like kind of pops in and then you put the tape back over it. That's it. There's no, <clears throat> there's no little black clip like here. Okay, so you know this, how to take this off. You know, you pop this up. <clears throat> Let me turn this off first. So you turn the power off, and you pop it up, and then the, your cable should come right out. See? So uh, when you get your board. You can't use the stock cable, okay? Which you don't want to anyway. It's kind of small. It's like small. This makes it easier for you uh, having these. They they give you two of them, <clears throat> and uh, it's very simple. There's there's only one way that it installs, so you can't can't put it in backwards. Uh, for this one, it's a uh, blue side up. If it makes it that much difficult for you, but uh, when you go to plug in this side, uh, you're going to know. And also, if you were to put this in upside down in here, you're, you're, this ain't going to light up, okay? Um, just so you know. So it won't light up when it's in upside down. So uh, Because when I was first trying it out and I was using this, this stock cable, it wasn't working. Uh, the power light would come on, uh, but I would get no picture. So I have tried flipping it over, and then no power light would come on at all. And then uh, uh, Dave told me uh, you have to use the, the cable that came with the, the board because uh, At Games has it in some kind of upside down thing, or I don't know what they did, but uh, it doesn't work with that. So uh, you just pop this in and plug it in and you saw it working with the jets losing uh within the 10 minutes of this video they're probably i think they're down by 30 something points right now all right so uh yeah that's how you find the board um 
you don't have to go to those websites and pay hundreds of dollars or whatever for your for your board. All right, now this isn't a Vibs. This isn't a replacement for your Vibs board, so don't get that confused. You need a Vibs board if you're gonna still use your at games, you know, PCB, and you're playing your at games stuff on it. This is for if you want to use your LCD screen that are in any of your your arcades and you want to plug in an HDMI uh, plug-in and use it for something separate. That's what, that's what these boards are for. Okay. At Games, fortunately At Games, uh, they actually give you an HDMI input, an extra one, uh, so you can plug an HDMI plug into it if you want to and not have to buy a board and stuff like that. It's up for the back box on, on the pinball, but you understand what I mean. Whereas the arcade one up, you know, you have to you have to get your own board and stuff like that. Uh, the reason why I'm I I did mine is because I have it upgraded and I I need space back here for the the RG you know the matrix and the RGB lighting and stuff. I don't want it's just the Vibs board is big and then there's the PCB, there's the little HDMI thing that goes down to the PCB, and it's just it takes up way too much space that I want to uh, that I want to I want to get out of the cab so that I have that space to put uh, more more toys. <laughs> All right, so that's how you uh, that's how you find yourself uh, one of these boards, and then you can use your your uh, LCD screens. For whatever device you're uh, you're using, that's how you can uh, that's how you can find it. Is just panellook.com. It's that simple. Just pop in that screen, the uh, serial number, and get the information that you need that I told you about, and that's it. That's how it is. And then you get your HDMI. This is uh, power, 12 volt, 12 volt, five amps. I'm using. This is my HDMI. This is uh, for your sound, your speaker. And that's it. All right, guys. Uh, hope it helps you guys out, saves you guys some money. Uh, uh, I'm going to pack this back up now because uh, I'm putting this back away, wrapping it up in the, my bubble wrap. And uh, I think I'm sending this out in the mail. All right.